Welcome to the beautiful game. It's been about two months plus. We've been looking forward to the start of uh, the major leagues in Europe. And when we talk about major leagues, I think most of us, we know we are talking about the EPL. Because all the other leagues come up after. And, well, it's not my fault. It is the most exciting league. Some people call it the greatest show on earth. This is the beautiful game. My name is Mike Mesikeno. And I've got Toyo C. And, of course, uh, Sam in the house with me to start up the show. Guys. It's finally here. The Premier League is back. And yes, that's it is back. Now from a major part <laughs> of our show this morning. Yeah, good morning, Mike. Good mm. morning, Sam. Yeah, well, thank you. Good morning to our viewers as well. It's back. It's okay. back. Football is football. back. <laughs> no, no, no. Football is not back. The EPL is back. <laughs> All right. is back. Now, just before we mention this, now, it seems uh, France have lost. Yes. Yeah, they have. Ah, oh, this is yeah. sad. Uh, at least, I think they went as far as 12, 13 shots on penalties. After the five legs, they went for sudden death. Boy, about seven boy finished 7 6 on penalties. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That, so that, many that was, misses. That's quite something. But Australia, the hosts, are now in the semi finals. Semi finals. Semi -finals. They're in the semi finals. They'll be of playing course. the winner between uh, England and Colombia. And Colombia, who are Joe, who be starting in just a, just a beat. England, Colombia. Ah, it should have been Nigeria. It Colombia. could have been Nigeria. And I feel that we would have had a chance to go so far. I feel like we had beat England. We could have. We struggled. could have. I mean, we, we could have done well against Colombia. At least Colombia are not the exceptional talent you actually see on that global we, stage. And we beat this Australia. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I know. Football, it, football is a, a very football cruel football. sport. Is it that why a we lost the beautiful game? That's why it yeah, is so a beautiful game. Because it's not one plus one. If it's At one all. plus one, I would have been a billionaire. <laughs> by, by the way, also, there's a return to... Uh, well, not a return. We will be giving out weekly football prediction tips that can help you if you are a punter out there. So we'll have a um, beautiful game uh, odds of the week and all of that. So that will be at the end of the show. So make sure you stay up until the end. And we'll review our odds in the next show so that we'll let you know. We'll not just drop it and yeah. throw it out in here. We'll review it. Okay, what did we predict? Did we win? And if we won, you celebrate us and you send your tights to the GO. That's how it is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> all right, but let's get straight into it. We have transfer stories and the first one is Harry Kane. After a drawn out, this, this transfer has been drawn out for five years. What I mean, five years. See, the first, you were talking about the first time when Harry Kane, when there were calls for Harry Kane to leave. It's been a long time coming. I mean, up of, I mean, remember the time when, uh, even before Bale and Modric, there was also talk of Harry Kane, it's time to leave. So it's been drawn off a very long time. But finally, and it seems like even at the last minute, it seemed like it won't happen. It seemed like the player was great. But now, Bayern have officially announced, he has given a message to Tottenham fans, and he is now a Bayern player. And he might just be in line for his first trophy later Today on again. this evening. Yes. And that is the sad part of the story. <laughs> and funny at the, the same time. Because he has been at Tottenham for what? Since he was 11? 20 years. 20 years. Since yeah. he was 11? Years. Yes. He's 30 now. 19 yeah. years. And in just his first day at Bayern, he could win his first trophy ever. At least he's no longer a trophy. What is this? Competitive game. But well, I think, you know, Arsenal fans should be the ones that are grateful to Daniel Levy and Bayern Munich this time around. Because there is no North London Derby penalties. There is no free kick. This man has terrorized Arsenal for a very long time. So, you know, let me just say, Arsenal fans, congratulations. You're not going to see Hurricane score against you this time around. But I actually will just say, okay, Bayern Munich are a favorite for the Champions League now. They have that missing piece in their team now, which is Hurricane. Since Lewandowski left, they have not had a very good number nine, except from when uh, Eric Chupomoting had uh, yes. a, very po a very good purple patch. No, no, but now, it, it, it is finished for me. Yeah, they need their striker, and uh, that's one of the... Uh, the Stuff you can blame uh, Yulan and Guzman for. He refused to bring any striker. They were relying on a triple moting. But it was working. Triple moting scored 17 goals last season in our competition. So that's fair. But when you talk about the numbers that Lewandowski was delivering. Yeah, hey, but wait, it was not about Nagusman. Up until then, I buy him with the best team by Opta Champions Champions League. They were doing well. They but were doing very well. Know, they were but, okay. It's almost like what we talk about Pep. But they are Before he bought Haaland, he was doing... It. Well, yes. I'm just saying that, look, it was not a Nagelsmann thing. Because, look, that team was doing well up until... Uh, when what is the G -G Oliver general Kahn manager, happened. yeah. Let's not even start. If not, there are two people I blame for Man City winning Champions League. Oliver, Oliver Kahn, Kahn and Carlo Ancelotti. You know why I blame him. <laughs> <laughs> Antonio Rudiger's <laughs> issue. You know. Yes, no, that's no, what. No. That, that, it was clear. In the, in, in the, it, was, it showed the world that he made a mistake. And but, he brought him inside. But for all of that, today it's about... Harry Kane. Okay. And I'm happy for him. I was looking forward to him going to City last season, which, I mean, two seasons ago, which never happened, and then before City went for Holland. And this time around, he has been able, thank goodness for whatever it is that Daniel Levy uh, decided <laughs> and he agreed you know, for I, this move I, to I, I, I think um, Tottenham sent something. They do not want to sell to the director about, but 
in who are their sense, direct they, are, they don't have any direct and like, rivals. They <laughs> have not won like, anything. They should be with really West Ham or That's yeah, who are the direct they rivals. Most of them have won the rival. Tottenham have won the Conference League and now you're West saying now. you don't want to sell to a direct yes. rival. Okay, you're not selling to Arsenal, we understand. Okay. But you're going to sell to the likes of Manchester City, maybe mm. Chelsea, but yeah. Man, you, they're not your mates. Liverpool, they're not your mates. At all. All right, but then let, first, let's talk of a gift up and replacing him. Uh, how, how, uh, I, it, you think that, that has a possibility? No, no, the, the young man just scored a trick in the, 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 in, uh, yes, during the uh, qualifier. That boy's uh, on for, fire, for, man. No, and like I said before, I think uh, off the show, I, I, have, I was a bit concerned about his height, but he has always delivered the number of goals. They scored five, he scored three. And we know the number of goals he scored last season for Genk, and it's a good one that they're looking at him. Uh, but there's also the... Father Richard Lesson is the preferred number nine, and also the Argentine <laughs> uh, youngster that they just brought okay. in. But, 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 what, is, uh, one more thing I'll tell you: Give Tobana has 25 goals in 25 games. He's the highest goal scoring footballer in 2023. All right, okay. Now. All right, let's move on from that now. Ah, this is the major one. This is going to take some time. Moses Caicedo. Uh, it's been a whirlwind two days, and it's been. This has shown the ineptitude and the lack of professionalism, lack of experience in this no. particular matter from Liverpool. And it is shocking because no, no, you, Liverpool are a team that will always compete. The... I am not being harsh. I'm, being, I'm putting it exactly as it is. Moses Caicedo looks like he's about to compete with Chelsea. But just yesterday, the whirlwind that was happening back and forth, Liverpool put a bid out for him. Now, this player we know that has agreed personal terms. Look, let's talk about the inside of, of transfer. Before a club goes to make a bid, you don't already have an idea would the player want to come. A serious club. I'm not talking about anybody. I'm not talking about the Saudi Arabian clubs and all the rest. I'm talking about serious clubs. Before you even go to the club, you'd have made some contact with the player. Would you like to come before you make before you even make yeah, a but, 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 you, but you know uh, that is also not permitted. Some because what I mean not yes. permitted. I'm yes. not talking about you, officially. You, you, the, you, the you cannot this. approach any player of any club without the approval of the club. But they but, all do. But, but, but they, they there is no body. There yes. Is, you know, yes. Forget it. There is no body. I, I, I think Sam, yes. There's no way that does that. But the point is that we, are, we know that he had agreed personal terms in May. Which this was already in the news. So it wasn't a case of him overlooking Liverpool. It was a case of Liverpool were never in, in the, the race. Now, the, where, where, where this is all confusing is that there was a Lavia thing coming back, coming into the picture. They couldn't pay, or they decided not to pay 50 million for Lavia. They stopped at 45 million after three bids, which I feel was very, very on, on Liverpool you, like you, you needed this person. You understand? Why, why are you offering And then you, you go, you forget about him, and then you jump to Caicedo. Who was never you in the Make mix. a bid of you want to make him you want to make him the most expensive British transfer of all time. 110. And then you 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 you, you this was the John Klopp now went to a press conference to open his mouth. You, you hear coaches, we well, don't talk about players that are not the, our own. That, that's just the thing. You when you, you ask that when you ask that, that was, it was disgraceful, that. Sam. I, okay, to be fair to Klopp, I, he felt uh, that, and that's it, because you've had an agreement with... Until you unveil a I'm, player... No, no, you've you had an agreement with the team that owns the player. I'm sure there are moves already at the time no, no. with uh, Moses Caicedo camp. Maybe they haven't had any concrete answer from that end. And people already know, everyone, the story was out there, the press already carrying it, and he was asked about it. And he made a comment because the club has already agreed transfer. Most times, it, it, it is not confirmed. Most times, the problem, the problems, so with, most time problems with transfers it. is definitely not the player side. The players' agreement usually comes; they always find a way. It's all usually with the like, with the team that owns the player. On this, in this case, Caicedo is saying, "I'm a man of my word. I've had an agreement." Uh, and uh, Chelsea are the one that have been delaying this transfer because they are not meeting the valuation of Brighton. They, if not, this deal will have been done. And right now, I hope they, they're through all of this. All we're going to be doing is that the ISB that is the one that gets to have this player. And they've moved the hands of everyone. Yes, Klopp had a little uh, gap in there going to a press conference and then uh, saying something he's not so sure of. But I said in desperate mode. I had mentioned this on this show before, that what he was trying to do this summer is unprecedented. You don't chase an entire midfield. Midfield Clearing is the of midfield. a football side. 
your and captain, you, your vice, every, you know, every, everybody. Every, everybody left. So he's, he's in a desperate Be, situation because, right now. Because Thiago was never a major part of that midfield. He injuries and everything who, stopped injuries him. Injuries and yeah. all of that. So uh, Chelsea, of course, will be up against Liverpool. We're going to talk about that. We're going to preview that match. But that is very unlikely. Now let's mention uh, Neymar. Neymar to Barcelona. Of course, we'll talk about all the transfers concerning Barcelona. Usman Dembele has just been officially confirmed to I have joined uh, PSG from Barcelona. But does Neymar to Barcelona... The Barcelona, are they okay? What's happening? <laughs> you know, because, because officially, Gondogan has not yet been registered. Most of the players have never registered. Most, Most of the players uh, have uh, uh, La Liga started. Yeah. La Liga started yesterday. But there's a level, so there's a level coming from Mexico. Any serious club, there's a any, level any coming club from Mexico. should have already registered. I mean, you should have already gotten your 25, 20, 25 or 28. Yes. Okay, Mike, down. Mike. This, Mike. But now, wait. because of the issues or the financial limbo, as it were, that they were in, they are still trying to... I, I don't, they have turned into mathematicians. This there is, is only the first time that this is happening to FC Barcelona. Yeah? It happened last season yeah. when they couldn't register some players. Yeah. But this time around, there's a level. I'm, I'm, I'm not an advocate for FC Barcelona, but okay. I'm going to say this. Okay. Okay. There's a level according to um, the, 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 the president of Barcelona. Yeah. He says there's a level coming from Mexico. They want okay. to sell some of I mean, about 45% of Barca <laughs> So when they sell about 45%, why are you laughing? Yo, uh, when they sell 45% of Barca, know, Barca, Barca Studios. Last season, Barca pulled that many levers? Six. I mean, so, seven. There's, uh, As it stands, I don't know if any Liva is still remaining. Levla, Baka have sold. Of, wait, 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 is, that, is that from Liva to Levla? Baka, Baka have sold their, their, their studio. They have sold their stadium. Not everything, not everything. Uh, they have Mike, sold their stadium. Mike. The only thing remaining is to sell the road to Luka. This, this is you. You're just, fact, you are just, you are just, this is just Bant. No, this is Bant. This is just Bant. Stop, stop, hold on. And I'm sure Barcelona fans will not be happy. They will start calling you. They will start calling you. How can you say? First of all, they've said, they've, see, they've sold their, even Esau was not, Esau sold his bet right. Wait, so, wait, oh, no, wait, no, 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 no. Barcelona, wait now. That right. club should not be called Barcelona again. Because I know you want said, to say that for Luna. Wait, right? they said the backup part is Luna remaining. <laughs> wait, okay. Where are these other slippers they're pulling? And why, why is it that other clubs can't pull Okay, let me tell you. If you have investment, yeah. you go back to what you've invested and Okay, let us bring it out of this money we have invested. Yeah. So it's it just the thing. Barcelona have this money where they have kept it. They are selling it because they are investing. Anytime I hear anybody, no. eh, do you try to, wait, anybody that hear anybody trying to advocate. FSG, where get money, where no spending? Who be, be FSG? They don't get money, they don't get money. You wait to come. When this is a gentle man, even though they say, themselves, I try, they always know that. Wait, well, this is not okay, not to make sense. Mike, you, about Barcelona, right? But the point now is Neymar. Does it make sense? Taking yes, getting a, getting a name and, and and it's it's like a stopgap. And why I said it's a stopgap is Xavi was planning the season with Usman Dembele. Yeah. And he, he said it in the press conference many times that he never wanted him to leave. And that's not something he would have said about any player. Last season when he was about to leave, Xavi pulled all the strings that he could pull to make him stay. And then he stayed. Neymar coming now is a stopgap, but the thing is, can they afford to pay? Mm. Uh, the, the rumor is about 30 million euros uh, for, for his uh, salary. Does, he have, uh, does Barcelona have that money to pay for him right now? They've been able to sell uh, Frank Kessie. They've been able to sell Ospan Dembele, which will allow them to register players like mm -hmm. Godwin that you mentioned. But, yes, it will. It will. You think he will make There are actually two sides to this thing. Because Laporta wants him to come for the financial things. Okay. But Xavi doesn't want him. Because, you know, he's hmm. saying that he might break the harmony and the of, ranking. That is but Neymar will come back and make a very big sporting difference. It will, yes. Okay. Sporting, right. yeah, that's right. the Wonderful. thing. Sporting Wonderful. difference, it will make a good one. All right.